Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shah, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Yahweh Shai the Unleavened. Lord, will you are edified? Exodus 12 and 8. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs. They shall eat it. Let's focus on unleavened bread. According to the Hebrew, Strong's H4682, Mataza, which means what? Unleavened without leaven. Now, leaven is nothing but an agent that promotes bread to rise. All right. The Passover was a representation for Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah was the lamb. Okay? The unleavened bread was a representation for Yahweh Shah. The blood of the lamb was a representation for Yahweh Shah. Remember, Yahweh Shah was the lamb. Okay? Let's get Psalm 40 and 7. Then said, I lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. The volume means what? The Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament. Okay. Exodus 12 and 8. And they shall eat the flesh in their night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Okay? The focal point for this lesson is Yahweh Shah the unleavened. All right? Let's prove, furthermore, that this unleavened bread was a representation of. For Yahweh Shah, Matthew 26 and 26. And as they were eating, Yahweh Shah took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Verse 27. And he took the cup. And gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. Verse 28 For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Okay? Now, Yahweh Shah died for the entire nation of Israel, beginning with the remnant, okay, which is the elect. Now, remember the focal point. Is Yahweh Shai is the bread, which is unleavened. Now, according to the Greek for bread, Strong's G seven forty, Artas, Artas. Okay, Artas. Now let's get to the point. As the divine come from heaven, another term for a divine is what? Shining. Come from heaven, who containing in himself the source of heavenly life supplies, celestial nutriment to souls that they may attain to life eternal. Let's read that again. As the divine come from heaven, who containing in himself the source of heavenly life supplies, celestial nutriment 
to souls that they may attain to life eternal. All right. In order to increase in the spirit and stay energized, we must eat Yahweh Shah. Okay, which is that unleavened bread. All right. Further proof to back up what I said. Let's get John. Six and forty-eight. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which come down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. Verse fifty-one. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eats of this bread, he shall live forever. All right, Yahweh Shah is the only way to get back to Yahweh. Yahweh Shah is the only way to attain salvation, and it starts with our belief system, which is a gift given to us from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And therefore, due to this belief system, we will eat Yahweh Shah. Which is symbolic for what? Believing in Yahweh Shah. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eats of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. And again, for bread is what? Artas, which means what? As the divine come from heaven, who containing in himself, the divine is who? Yahweh Shah. Who containing in himself the source of heavenly life, supplies celestial nutriment to souls that they may attain to life eternal. Okay, now let's get back to the point. Matthew 26 and 26. And as they were eating, Yahweh Shah took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Okay. Eleven. All right. Is symbolic for Yahweh Shah. Now remember. Yahweh Shah did not sin. And therefore, he did not have leaven. Okay, let's prove that. Let's get verse Corinthians 5 and 7. Purge out, therefore, the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump. Also a new creature within Yahweh Shah. Why? Because you have been born again. All right. The word has made you clean. As ye are eleven. All right. As ye are eleven. And it started with Yahweh Shah. For even Mashiach, our Passover, is sacrifice for us. Okay. So the Passover is nothing but a representation for Yahweh Shah. All right. And that unleavened bread is symbolic to say that Yahweh Shah did not sin. And therefore, he was that perfect sacrifice. Let's get unleavened according to the Greek. Strong's G106, Ajamas, Ajamas. Metaphor, free from faults or the leaven of iniquity. In a nutshell, Yahweh Shah did not sin. And that's why he was that perfect sacrifice. Also, 
First Peter 1 and 19. But with the precious blood of Mashiach as of a lamb without blemish, meaning what? He did not sin. And without spot, he did not sin. And also, you can factor in that he's that unleavened bread. Going back to 1 Corinthians 5 and 7. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Mashiach, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Lord, will your edify Shalom.